I, I norm I normally don't bring notes with me, but I got to try to remember all those home runs we hit. That was really something. Uh, Freddie with two home runs. Williams, Rupp a solo shot. Herrera, good to see Herrera and Altair, obviously. Um, good to see Ikoff back on track. Uh, he could have gone back out, but uh, I didn't want him to throw any more pitches. Uh, he punched out eight, uh, walked one, I think. Um, it's good to see. Uh, uh, Michael, although he didn't do a whole lot offensively, made two really outstanding plays at third base. Um, other than that, uh, this is going to be nice. I can I can enjoy this win for four days now, which is uh, kind of nice. Um, first half, you know what? Uh, Eikhoff is back. Nola's really resurged. Uh, he's he's pitching extremely well. Pavetta made a good impression. He's uh, He's a good addition. Uh, Lively's made a great impression. Lighter is uh, doing uh, pretty good. Uh, we like we like what we see from Lighter. Um, uh, Garcia's taking a step forward. Um, a lot of good things. Altier's starting to make a name for himself. Uh, good to see that. Uh, uh, a lot of good things have, have uh, come up in this first half, and it's it's not all doom and gloom. Uh, these are things we got to take hold of and, and uh, run with and try to keep improving. When you see a game like this, do you wonder to yourself why at least a facsimile can happen a little bit more often? Without question. You know, I, I, uh, I'd i like to see uh, – I, I, we, we should have probably saved three of those home runs for another day, but it shows you what the guys are capable of doing. Um, Cahill's pretty tough. He's, he's got a lot of movement on his pitches, and uh, he made some mistakes, and we, we capitalized. You know, the key to any team's success is when you get mistakes, you don't miss them, and we didn't miss many mistakes today. So if we can continue to do that – um, we're going to improve, and that's the whole idea. But um, I'm going to take this uh, win into the into the All Star break and really savor it. Mike Hoff, you mentioned the pitch count. Did, just because it was his first start back, is that what you're saying? He threw 57 pitches in his last outing, and I, you know, I could have sent him back out there, but I didn't really want him to get him up to 85 or 90. You know, especially as well as he pitched, uh, get him out on a, on a positive note, and uh, plus we had our bullpen uh, ready. And they were all re well rested, and the guys did a good job. Who's that? Eikhoff, did his stuff have the, had the kind of light that you've seen? He before? had a really good curveball. That's his pitch, and when he has that working for him and he can locate it, he's uh, really good, and that's what he did today. You guys have not been a big home run team. I think you came in from the base, second worst in baseball. Are you a little surprised by that, given some of the guys you have in your lineup that haven't been able to generate more long balls, especially here? Yeah, you know, one of the things that I, I feel we haven't done is taken advantage of mistakes. We don't seem to uh, to hit pit, uh, mistakes out over the plate out of the ballpark. And today was an indication of what happens when pitchers make mistakes and what can happen. Uh, and, I, uh, you know, we're going to stress that the, the, the second half of the season and take advantage. We should be hitting more home runs. Not that I want them to hit home runs, but maybe instead of talking about situational hitting and two-strike approaches, maybe we should start training them to hit home Get more home runs. <laughs> you mentioned how good the starting pitching has been lately. Even though the wins haven't come, do you think that's kind of gotten lost in the shuffle a little bit? Because yeah, without question. You know, you you got to put it both sides of the ball together. You know, the pitching's been uh, been the starters especially have been outstanding. Um, the hitting has, has scuffled uh, most of the first half. We've got competent hitters that just haven't uh, reached their potential and hopefully the second half they're going to they're going to turn it on and start uh, doing what we think they're capable of doing given that that was kind of this kind of the focal point of the rebuild building around young starting pitching that's got to be a, a big relief going into a break like this yeah well it is you know when you you compare our our rotation to uh the rest of the league and uh, I'd be willing to bet that we have just as many innings pitch from our starters, if not more than most of the league. So these guys have been giving us innings. Uh, you know, we may or may not have front line, uh, you know, top of the rotation starters, but we've got a few guys that have a chance to be. And uh, it's just good to see Lively, Nola, um, Pavetta, uh, Leiter's done well, um, Eikhoff back. We're going to get Velasquez back in the second half. So I'm looking forward to the second half. Type that takes these four days and goes to a beast far away and does nothing, or, or do you guys have meetings and stuff about the trade deadline? And is there baseball activity to be done? I'm going to go to Stone Harbor for three days and eat, have a few drinks, and uh, sleep, and go to the beach and let my wife nag me. 